Doctor Who, The Hand of Fear, Part 1 Christina Dome, a spaceship, is travelling through the void. Nronic Nock, a sea Aladrad, a traitor, destroyer of barriers, sentenced to liberation, Aladrad, figure in all developing duvet, suit, goes to a small dome in a blizzard and operates its control panel. Later figures seen sit- sitting, Ronick. Ragnarok, OC Command of Dome Six, Command of Dome Six, Second Figure enters. Ragnarok, OC Command Central Control to Outer Dome Six, Report. Module Status, Report Immediately. Tech, Technique of Guru, Second Figure now shakes the first shoulder. He falls to the floor. Ragnarok, OC Technique All Bar, Technique All Bar. Oh. So Zedzak, Commander Zedzak here. Technique Gorbaro, no longer operational. All temperature continues to fall. Rock, rock, non. I see. Report module status immediate. Zedzaka, obliteration module on course. Normal function now. Nineteen spa- bars intermission. Roll, Coron. O C co- computed time to detonation. Zarazaka, a preparation module will reach destination desired. This is designated detonation period point beyond all solar systems in six bands approximate. Rogokon, O C commander Zekazak, what's the barrier condition? Zerazak, condurating. Rogokon, O C the north has already fallen. When the South Barrier collapses, temporary loss will be intensified. Azaka, then service operations will no longer be possible. Roacon, OC confirmed there are new, these are new orders. Module to be triggered below before control is lost immediately completely. So Azaka, by King Roacon, sire, total veneration on traitor Aladred was ordered. Roacon, OC, yes, yes, Zagaka. Communicates indicate that in all 19 bands there is still one a free chance of particle survival. Boakam. Rakakon. OC with no choice, Zakaka. Correct the new orders. Zakaka. Affirmative. Zaka hits a button, the first cover of the console. Spaceship explodes. Zaka, a federation module, is destroyed. Waiting for orders. Rakakon. OC, evacuate observation dome immediately. Zaka so drags the fro- frozen overall out. A dome dome goes dark. Cory. In another part of space on Earth, in Condell or Cory, Walton upon Edge, Gloucestershire, Quaymen are getting ready to detonate part of the Cory face. So our rails and wires attached to each other, and the dynamite and the detonate cables frayed out. The tiny missionaries the doctor steps out, final wires are stripped and fastened to the detonating pack. Sarah so leaves the TARDIS wearing an anti panties a pair of dungarees. So uh, I'll listen. I don't want to make any snap decisions, but this isn't self croydon So the what? I can't hear you for siren. Sir, uh, this isn't self croydon So the all right. You don't need to shout. Hold this. She gives her, gives her his coat. So I now watch. The so bowls of stone, a large rock, knocking over. They will come. So Sarah, good for you. So it's, it's nice and self, not self corridor. Sir, what? It's a paradise compared to this dump. I bet we're not even on Earth. So, well, maybe the season isn't started yet. So, what? So, do, do you have a season in self corridor? Sir, come on, what, where are we? Doctor, we're in a quarry. Sir, yes, I know we're in a quarry, but where? Doctor, well, how do I know? I don't know all the quarries that. Doctor, so there's a figure waving them from the ridge. Doctor, maybe he knows. Abbott, get out of it. Go on, get out of it. Quick, get out of the way. Mike, Mike, no. Doctor, maybe he knows South Croydon. Don't you look at it if he comes to South? Sarah, what? Sarah, run, Doctor, run. He stopped running just as detonators plunge. A vert quarry still all explodes. Abbott runs down from the ridge. Doctor pulls himself up from behind. A very large rock, piece of rock. Abbott, how the blaze did you get here? Doctor what? Abbott, didn't you see the signs of flags? 
Well, you must have heard a tutor. Are you right? Dory looks at a pile of fractured block behind him. Tries to serene and touch the middle quarry. Don't know my friend under that. The other quarrymen come running. Oh, oi, oi, you lot. Get down there. Get an ambulance. The doctor spots his coat and goes over. Eric, look, don't want to sound heartless, but I'm not making a take of responsibility. We have no right in here. You have no right in here. Ambulance heads to the quarry. Sarah winks. A space underneath a very large slab of rock. We hear voices in the background, in the foreground. A shot, a right hand, a ring and a fifth finger, and a fourth one missing. Sarah, oh, I can't move, Doctor. Doctor, please help, Doc. Sarah reaches through the gap and grasps the hand and screams. Where are I think she's over here. Doctor, steady, steady. Doctor peers in through the gap. Doctor, she's here. Now, gently, gently, the man lifted a large step away and the ambulance arrives. I went, why didn't you, you go? Could be something else down there. Quiet, man. Keep it coming. Here we are. That does it. Doctor pulls in the conscious Sarah out the hole and lays it on another slap. I went, is she all right? Doctor, she's still breathing. I went, what? Doctor, I said she's still breathing. I went, and the doctor lays Sarah out and stretch her. I went, sees a hand of a hand in her hand. I went, what on the nerve? She won't let it go. Doctor, never mind about that. Get her off to the hospital. Cut and quick. Come on, the amps may cry, carry Sarah away and then stretch her. Abbott, do you ought to get yourself seen to, mate? Doctor, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Hospital A&E department. Cubicle Indian doctor checks the doctor's arm and gets near the wrist. Doctor, ow. Intern, did you hurt? That hurt? Doctor, no, no. Intern, wonderful thing, pain. Without pain, a race could survive. Doctor, well, I'm well of that. And turn automatic defence system, I reckon them. Doctor, yes, tell me. How's Mrs. Smith? Sarah Jane Smith. We came in together. In turn, she's still unconscious. There's no need to worry. We found no serious physical injury. Doctor, paralysis? 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 In turn, no, not as far as I know. You're a doctor yourself? Doctor, well, sort of. In turn, how do you do? do? Shakes the doctor's injured hand. And then tell me, when did you qualify, uh, if I may ask? So tell me, when did you qualify, if I may ask? Doctor, place called Gallifrey. Into Gallifrey? No, not heard of it. Perhaps he's in Ireland. Doctor, probably look. I can see Miss, can I, can I see Miss Smith, please? Into the light, you'd take a look at Miss Smith. Hospital, private room, Sarah lying in the bed, very still. Turn, thank you, nurse. He looks at her eyes. In turn, she's still in shock. She's not... Uh, and sedation. We'll give her just a simple anti tetanus. Doctor, into tetanus? Into yes. If you care to examine your friend's left hand and forearm, you'll find it's considerable muscular contraction. Doctor, yes, you're right. So there's a rock. Intern, just in the, in the hand and the forearm. Perhaps it's for the psychological action of stress, the object of which he was holding on to. Doctor, do you see it? Enter, no. Sent direct to the doctor Carter, path blab. I can say he was a bit with the living. Doctor, hmm, where's the path flap? It's a just follow the same, but same pathology. Doctor, will you now, let, well, will you let me know when she comes round, please? It's turn all right. Hospital, path lab, doctor, Carter, histology. What's, that's what you need. Doctor, what do you think of these plates, these, these plates, doctor? X-ray, your mystery hand. Cut oh, not much. There's no tissue deterioration, no blood, no muscle. No indication of any living organism whatsoever. See, you usually got another idea of structure from a fossil, but there's nothing. Oh, look at this. Dr. Carter has a slide under a microscope, projecting into a small screen. They're looking through the eyepiece. Dr. Yes, it's beautiful. Cut it? Yes, but it's nothing to do with the clinical pathology. Dr. Does the crystalline lattice mind you of anything? Carter, it's genetic. That's all it about it. That's about all. Oh, I, as I say, neither behind journalists or geologists. Carter, it's silicon base. Carter, I'm sorry? Doctor, how many living forms do you know with silicon base molecule infrastructure? Carter, none. If it was, it, made, it would be made of stone. I think it was some kind of elaborate hoax. We dream about something, you know, students. Doctor, how have we, have we got access to the electron? Microscope doctor? Carter, why? What do you think of it? It is. 
Doctor, I don't think, I don't know yet, but there's no hopes, Doctor Carter. Hospital room. The name is Doctor takes Sarah's pulse, and she get um, then puts her clenched fist, left fist down, and leaves. Sarah wakes and opens the clenched fist. Hand to reveal the ring. As the sound glows blue briefly, she rolls back the bedclothes and gets up. Hospital, Larry Puff Lab. Got a great Scott. You must have pulled a few strings to get a hold of this. Roddy always hangs on to it like grim death. What did you tell him? Doctor's worrying on the electron microscope. Doctor, I said we were investigating certain extraterrestrial possibilities. Doctor's what? Doctor, such as an infection infection on this planet. Got it? You're not serious, are you? Doctor, yes, I admit it's a fairly remote possibility. For us, it's because I've thrown out of 150 million years, as far as we know. No, this thing was found embedded in trapped on black stone dolomite. Got a what? Got a Jurassic limestone. God, do you mean it's been there for 150 years? Got a yes. God, how did it get there? Man didn't exist in Jurassic times. Got a, that's true. Will you pair me another slide, please? Got a, yeah, sure. Got a, I think the answer might lay in the quarry. Got a, well, good luck. Got a, Lee's on his way out. Past Sarah's room. Turns the notice to patient not to be disturbed. And when she's up and dressed and waiting for the corridor to be empty, she can leave the room to go for footage herself. Connor puts the sample he drill, has drilled for the hand into the EM and switches on. Sarah enters behind his back, picks up the hand, puts it into a box. Connor, what the devil do you think you are? Miss Smith, are you anything better? Sarah, Emmered, Emmered must live. Sarah is wearing a ring with a stone turned towards her palm. He holds up her hand, blue with woe. Red as Carter, he falls to the floor. Woman, it is your, it is his will that you should obey. None must have in fear. So he picks the box containing a royal hand and leaves. Corey Abbott, yeah, well, this is a spectrum if you come come from here. Doctor, did you find anything else in the rubble trouble? Doctor, if there's any, Abbott, if there's anything else, might have been 150 million years. We all do, might get dynamite shells and things, but... Doctor, any plastic? Abbott, plastic? Doctor, yes, plastic. Abbott, you're, you're joking. Doctor, no, spaceships can be made of plastic. Ceramic. Ceramic. Metal. Abbott, a spaceship? All that long time ago? Doctor, yes, life forms don't exist at the same time, you know. Doctor, Abbott, if you reckon this fellow shot, copped it in a crash light? Unless, of course, it's just flattening that down itself. But why? From where? Uh, where? Well, let you get on with it then, huh? Dot, yes. And where is it, was it going? Hospital, up half robe. Carter picks himself up the floor, sees a hand, is fishing. Goes to the telephone, Carter, reception. Dot, Carter, and they're here. Listen, now listen. Dark haired young woman wearing some pink striped overalls. Yes, pink striped overalls. Yes, just like Andy Penny. She's on her way out. You've stolen something off of my lab. Well, Calder, will you? Call the police. What do you mean? You left an hour ago. Why is it only just a few? Why, it's only just a few? Good grief. Doctor has turned to the hospital. He knocks quietly at Sarah's door. He looks in to see the bed stripped. He checks the wardrobe and leaves. Carter, right? Thank you. Carter puts down on the phone. The doctor enters. Doctor Carter? You haven't seen Miss Smith, have you? Carter, yes, I have. Doctor, good, where? Tucker. Carter, tell me, does she normally go around knocking people out? Doctor, uh, what do you mean? Carter, well, she was staying over there. When I spoke to her, she turned round, and something like somebody must must just live. Then there was a flash, and I didn't remember anything else. But he stole in the hand. Doctor, what? You mean she hit you? Doctor, well, I suppose she must have done. I've seen there's been a reception. They're looking for her. Doctor, yes, of course. Carter, did you find anything at the quarry? Doctor, what? Dot Carter, did you find anything in the quarry? Dot sits in the Carter's microscope. Dot no, no with negative evidence. No fragments, which means whatever it is didn't crash. But you see that from the fracture lines, the sample, there's an explosion. Carter, an explosion it was many years ago. Dot yes, and probably millions of miles away. It's intriguing, isn't it, Carter? Yes, but it doesn't explain why Miss why your Miss Smith should not want it, does it? Carter, perhaps it, would, it wanted Miss Smith. Carter, what? Doctor, well, if she's only him being able 
being to have any contact with. Any length of time, probably the only living organism have any contact with it since the event. Carter, it was petrified. Totally inert, Doctor. Doctor, inert, yes, dead. No, you're not. Carter thought it was a strange type of a subatomic structure, a crystal formation, a bit like a double helix. You know, my DNA mailed it all. Carter goes to the EMM. Carter, great Scott, Doctor, what is it? Carter, it's changed. Carter, Doctor, uh, Doctor, Carter, what's it mean? What happened to that on charge? Do you mean you didn't look like that before? Cotter, no. Do you know what I think? Doctor, what? Cotter, what? Do I think your sub has been quietly absorbing radiation machine? Cotter, absorbing radiation? Doctor, yes, regenerating itself. Let's hope it doesn't absorb enough to be dangerous. Put it somewhere safe, Cotter. Away from any further radiation. Cotter, right, we'll do. Doctor Carter. Doctor. Cotter, what? Doctor, where's the nearest nuclear reactor? Newton Experimental Complex. It's Oldbury. Doctor and Sarah waking up, walking up the drive, carrying a box, carrying a in hand. The sign says Newbury. Newton Complex Research and Development. No more for his entry. Sarah's absolutely armed guard. The ring. Waiting while Carter is driving a doctor. There in his own car. In the pouring rain, Sarah walks through the generator door to section R1, radiation zone, up to the metal staircase to R2. Dot and God arrive at the main gate, just as the guard wakes up. Dot opens the barrier. There are more armed guards. Guards arrive. Guard, stop or we fire. Sarah arrives at section R3. See by technician. Tech, hey miss. Of course, she gets that. Gets zapped. Now she's at R4. Goes down the ladder to commutation. Zone class C. She starts to open the door. Radioactive rods area. So radioactive source for bows. No enter. The alarm starts to learn blurring. Man OC, emergency mercy, all personnel. Proceed immediately to our safe zone areas. Proceed immediately to our safe areas. It's not an exercise. So it sits down against the big safe door. Open the box. Man OC, repeat. It's not an exercise. I repeat. The emergency mercy, all personnel proceed immediately. To your safe areas. Proceed immediately to your safe areas. It's not exercise. Repeat. Hands start to look less like crystal, more like living tissue. A brett, one million, one base of silicone, therefore crystal like qualities to the brown skin. The hand, the fingers start to move.